From iconic racing watches to auction darlings, Panda Dial chronographs hold a special place in hearts of collectors all over the world. Little wonder most brands have their own interpretation of the much-loved design. The Panda Dial was popularized in the 1960s and 1970s, largely thanks to mainstream brands such as Rolex, Omega and Hewer beginning to incorporate it into their designs. They then became associated with motorsport for their legibility and sporty aesthetics. The contrasting black subdials against the light background made it easier for drivers to read elapsed time and measure speed. Unlike the animal, the watchmaking panda is far from endangered. Here's our top 5 in no particular order. It would be impossible to discuss panda dial chronographs without mentioning the Rolex Daytona. Originally introduced in 1963, the Daytona quickly became an icon. The oyster steel case, coupled with a white dial and contrasting black sub-dial rings, evoke a sense of heritage, while at the same time being fundamentally modern. Not many watches can straddle that line so perfectly. It may be mostly pointless to discuss the Daytona in the context of getting one, but it's so iconic that this list would feel incomplete without it. After all, the reason we love Panda dials so much is because of one very famous watch. The dial of the Rolex Daytona is a masterpiece of design and functionality. Characterized by its distinctive black subdials set against a crisp white background, reminiscent of the iconic Panda color scheme, the dial offers exceptional legibility and clarity. The contrasting black and white color scheme not only enhances readability, but also adds a touch of vintage charm to the watch's overall aesthetic. Let's get the hard part out of the way first. This is not a small watch, and it's not a thin watch. The stainless steel case of the PRX Chrono measures in at 41 mm wide, by 41.5 mm lug to lug and a beefy 14.5 mm thick. The measurement that affects the watch the most has to be the thickness, which is dictated primarily by the automatic chronograph movement inside. To accommodate such a movement, there's just no way around having a thick case. Tissot's approach to dial design is straightforward, resulting in a legible dial with tasteful finishing. The dial features three chronograph subdials at 3, 6, and 9. The dial at 3 tracks up to 30 minutes, the dial at 6 ticks up to 12 hours, and the dial residing at 9 is for the running seconds. A central seconds chronograph hand takes care of timing seconds. One thing you won't see on the Tissot PRX chronograph is a tech enter scale. Even though I feel like it's a necessity on a Speedmaster or Daytona, I don't miss the scale here. The A5H31 is based on the classic automatic chronograph 7753 movement from Valju. These movements are made specially for a few brands in the Swatch group and feature some nice conveniences over the base movement. So, who's the PRX chronograph for? I imagine it's for someone who wants a watch with great finishing, finds the automatic chronograph movement fascinating, but doesn't want to spend a ton of money. Fans of the brand are likely to recognize the Tag Heuer Kara Chronograph 60th Anniversaries 39mm wide stainless steel case. This is the same vintage-inspired case layout the brand has used for all its retro-style Kara releases in recent years and closely follows the original Kara design template with its signature inwardly beveled lugs, sleek case profile, and elegantly narrow polished bezel. This fully polished case may be decidedly larger than the original 36mm wide Kara design, but it solidly updates the original Kara ethos for the modern era while retaining the classic who are signature on its 3 o'clock crown. The largest concession to modernity here comes with the Sapphire display case back, featuring an engraved limited edition serial number and a broad aperture for viewing the decorated in-house movement. As with the rest of the vintage-inspired Kara family, the Kara Chronograph 60th Anniversary provides a respectable 100 meters of water resistance. Tag Heuer powers the Kara Chronograph 60th Anniversary with its in-house Heuer 2 automatic chronograph movement. In conclusion, the Tag Heuer Kara 60th Anniversary is a special edition watch that pays homage to the iconic Kara collection's rich history and racing heritage. The Seiko Prospects Speedtimer SSC 813 has a sturdy brushed stainless steel case with a diameter of 39mm and a thickness of 13.3mm. The black tech enter bezel has a beveled profile, 
which gives the whole watch a more three-dimensional appearance. A screw-down case back makes it very easy to service, and it's still waterproof to 100 meters. Meanwhile, the Tri-Link stainless steel bracelet sports an ultra-wide opening with a three-fold clasp and an easy button release. The domed sapphire crystal has an anti-reflective coating to cut down on glare. Underneath, you'll see a matte white dial with black subdials at 3, 6, and 9 o'clock. A black outer index shows the 60-second time in tiny hashes set at one of five-second increments. The inner index consists of a set of black applied markers at the five-minute positions, with loom blocks at the 15-minute positions. A small borderless date window is located between 4 and 5 o'clock. A set of black broadsword-shaped hands sweep around the dial, with loom stripes for easy visibility. The second hand is very narrow, with a loom-filled arrow inset that ends at the inner index. A narrow needle extends from the tip of the arrow to the outer index. This watch is powered by a V192 solar movement. It also boasts an impressive six-month power reserve. There's something particularly eye-catching about the overseas chronograph that feels new and different from any overseas I've seen before. The subtle sunburst finish of the dial is great, no question, and the snailed subdeals are a great touch. The 18K white gold hour markers in hours, minutes, seconds, and subdeal hands, highlighted with Super Luminova, are all quality but expected features here. The watch is certainly massive, especially on the steel bracelet, and at 42.5 mm wide and 13.7 mm thick, the chronograph on the outside is wider than the largest Audemars Piguet Royal Oak chronograph by a millimeter and a half and thicker by 1.2 mm as well. The Nautilus chronograph is smaller, at 2 mm wide and 1.5 mm thick. But measurements never tell the whole story. Powering the overseas Panda chronograph is the tried and true in-house caliber 5000, 200 that has been the mainstay of the overseas chronograph range since its relaunch in 2016. The self-winding column wheel movement with a whopping 54 joules and 263 components. In conclusion, the Vacheron Constantin overseas chronograph is a masterpiece of horological artistry, combining timeless design with cutting-edge technology. From its impeccably crafted case and refined dial to its high-performance movement, Every aspect of the overseas chronograph reflects Vasher and Constantin's dedication to excellence and innovation. If you guys like this video or this video helped you, please give the video a like. Links to all the products mentioned are in the description below. If you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Till next time, I will see you guys later.